Hi and welcome to Dreams I've Been In and today we are doing some dream surfing on dreams for the PlayStation 4. I mean we are gonna go straight in there. A Cat's Night in Paris by Zomba Ford. So yeah, I presume this is supposed to be Paris. And you've got this little cat going around. I think he's a little bit hungry. He's going around eating some food. Taking the scenery, have a little bit of a stroll, chase a few mice, eat the poor mice's cheese, and make his way home. And cut up to a turner. Next up is They Are Watching by Ookstar Beats. And yeah, this made it into the Dream Seraph because I kind of like this. It's a bit rough around the edges, but I like the signs used. It's very atmospheric and it is quite tense when you're playing it wearing headphones. So you kind of make your way towards the eyes a few scary things like these clowns there you got the big face looking um, through the window there and I think this level is actually work in progress because as you go through the, the door of the ice the level kind of falls apart but I think it's a good start next up is Sticky's Switch Maze by Neji203 and this is a clever well-made little level it's only this one level here but you control the balls one with the left stick one with the right stick and you have to sort of use the sticks to control the one ball to help the other ball get through the maze and then obviously the other ball will progress and help the other ball move and they get both balls to the end of the maze and it's simple as that simple but well made next up is the looper by insane artist and it's a beautiful little side scrolling platform game and yeah you start off in this cell and then you go into this so yeah you just have to kind of guide her across the dangers and little platforming bits of the scenery and just yeah jump and dodge and try not to get killed so yeah this is a beautiful looking game you, you, as you can see from the background here so not only is it challenging um, it's beautiful to look at as well but yeah that's that and it's very fun to play although it's quite short this is Beachside Home by Atomic Acorn 96 and this is this is kind of a weird one so we, yeah I don't know what that is about but you got that section and you got that section it's like two different creations put together but yeah it's it's nice to look at um, the attention to detail isn't bad as you can see I'll get a close up of this now it looks pretty darn good got a GameCube there a bit random and uh, and then we got this bit. Your guess is as good as mine. This is the final wall by Belakos ninety six, and it's not really a game. 
it's um, it's a trailer and I presume it's a trailer for an upcoming game but I thought it was well made I like the uh, the music and the way it's filmed and put together it's pretty slick and it also looks beautiful So yeah, that's made it to my dream south because even though it is just a trailer, I thought it was quite well made. Next up is Ascend by Blowertron. And it's just a city and you have to go around it and collect these, these blue power-ups. So you go into buildings jump on top of buildings and um, try and find these pa blue power-ups and one thing I find out, I played this through a few times is that the uh, the blue power-ups actually are randomly generated or they change position so um, yeah so you can't work out where, all the, where they all are and then uh, go back to them and expect them to still be there because they won't be and the the uh, the jumping on it is quite floaty, which works very well. As you can see here, you can sort of glide down to a low building. But yeah, it looks pretty good. A nice little world, and a simple but effective concept. Next up is "You Die at the End" by Die Style Sixty Nine Hip Hop. I've uh, featured a few creations by die style of before and uh, every creation's always been solid and, and it's the same again with this you got uh, again it's it's a simple concept you are in a maze um, it's dark and you have to use the lights to kind of guide yourself around the maze and you got if you're playing with headphones it's it's quite a tense atmospheric experience because you've got the uh, the right sound effects a few little jump scares but um, yeah I, I just found this a nice little creation See, that kind of makes you jump just that little god knows what that was so yeah you just Guide yourself around, find your way. Don't know what you're doing in the maze and why you're there, and uh, why you are trying to get out. Next up is Solo Clips 2 by iZombieland5981 and yeah this is a very nice little creation. I speed up a little bit here because it's too long but um, yeah now we're back to normal speed and that just is a beautiful little creation again a simple a lot with a lot of creations is simple and this is dream true by mc casey jones and i chose this for the dream surf because 
I haven't seen this done yet. I write it down. I was quite unique. And I've been doing it for years, and now I'm going to share it with everyone in the Dreamiverse. Here we go, starting with opposite of perfume. I just think that's funny. It would be some of that smell. Intentionally blank, that's good. Aluminum anemone is a really good tongue twister, and if you're British, aluminium anemone, that works too. So I presume this uh, creator has done a few more similar to this, but this is the first one I've seen. And yeah, I like it. It's different. Famous last words, or the famous last words. Most of these you could just add the in front. Leave a comment if you know where old confetti comes from. Somnambulate means to sleepwalk. Business casual. Shucks, you could also add aw. This is the Dead Dream by Savannah. Work in progress. So this is very, very early uh, early work. Um, they got the the scenery and the level nailed. I presume they're gonna add more. It looks looks beautiful and I presume there's gonna be some sort of puzzle element to it and some kind of story. But it's very limited at the moment. So this is one to keep an eye on in the future. And yeah, so this has been my dream surf. I will leave a link in the description to the Discord hangout in and a list of YouTubers who I recommend that you go and check out. And uh, thank you for watching and as always, I'll see you guys again later. Bye.